hey, we were in luck. We were able to get away today in time to come back and help you rake. Good deal. Yeah. Very good deal. And you found a second rake. I have. Now this is, you're thinking about buying this big guy. Yep. Upgrading from the hay bob to this rotary rake. So this episode, we are gonna rake this 10 acres of hay. Yep. Let's get started. Matt, these two rakes, we've got the small one on mm -hmm. Johnny too, and we've got the big rake on Johnny. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, that seems mismatch, but for the lifting, to lift this 3.1, Johnny 2 is only the one going to lift it high enough for that. It's not really a weight issue. It's no. not that heavy, it's, but it's height. It's a height. And I don't think we could have adjusted it. So I no. think I think right off the bat, we know that this rake right here would not have worked on a subcompact tractor. Yes. Now this big one, is Johnny going to be able to handle it? I think so. I think so. I think we'll be just fine. Anything with a part and a hydraulic lift, I think, can handle this. We can double check the horsepower requirements from them, but... Uh, I didn't uh, see any horsepower requirements. This one does have a one-way cylinder on it, so it's power up and then gravity down. We have the hydraulics on the back of Johnny now. Uh, as I've told you before, you can get it at summit-hydraulics.com slash TTWT. This is the diverter solution. I, this is, I think, the third episode we've we've shown this particular solution. I really haven't gone into the details of how it works yet, much detail, but I may have to may have to go ahead and describe this a little bit more. But the idea is, is we get two remotes back here. We only need one of them for this. Mm -hmm. Now we did take the lift arms off because it, we were having trouble turning. It was turned into the PTO yeah. shaft. Yep. Now I'm thinking you're going to try Johnny too because I think you like that fan. I want the somewhat air conditioning. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> on this 94 degree humid afternoon. I'm running in high range doing this raking. There's no power issue at all. The rake doing a good job, so high range it is. Matt said he wanted to put these double windrows side by side. And then tomorrow we'll come through and rake it again, roll it all over into one uh, windrow. Okay, you're getting a pretty good view of the cut quality at this point. Looked to me like it was doing a fine job. All I know is it isn't going to take us very long to rake this. Now Matt said he wanted to just leave this in, uh, on, leave it down until we got done with the rest. Then we just come back and do the end swaths like you would normal farming. I think we've been about 15 minutes so far. I've almost got this two or three acres done. I'll go slower this time so that you guys can get a better look. Folks, the uh, giveaway of 20 grease guns by the Lube Shuttle Company. You still got just a few days, I guess, just not very long to uh, register midnight on September the 1st. That would be actually, I guess, September 2nd. This was meant to be uh, something where you can give a Lube Shuttle to someone else. We have some incredible applications. So I really appreciate uh, everybody's participation so far. and. And some of the stories we've read have been just incredible. Let me just say right up front that if you nominated yourself, you probably might as well go ahead and buy one with the Grease 2020 coupon code. You can get free shipping on a lube shuttle system, anything you want uh, until, I think it's, what is it, September 16th, 17th? We have a date on that. Use coupon code Grease 2020, G-R-E-A-Z-E 2020. You get free shipping. We use the lock and lube coupler on our lube shuttle guns. You have to have a metric to English adapter. 
The fitting is on our Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash tractor time with Tim. Unfortunately, it's out of stock right now. But what you can see from the Amazon store is the size fitting you need. I can't keep all that in my mind. So it's probably best for you just to, to look there. But it's a converter between metric and English. The, the lock and lube comes in English threads. I always enjoy having two tractors in the field at the same time. I guess it's just an extension of any social activity. It's always more fun to do stuff together. When the machines are slightly different, like these two, it makes it even more fun. I should have contacted one of our sponsors, you know, Rhino or Machio. They both make rakes. Now we're using these off-brand rakes. When you get almost done with the field, you have to coordinate a little better. I guess that's even more fun to me. A little bit of a challenge. Well, Matt, how are we getting along? We're getting along great. We're almost done. Now, I don't know how difficult that one is to use, but this thing is trivial. Is it? I just lower it down and go. And yeah. I mean, I'm a little concerned that I might not have it low enough in some places. Like once in a while, if there's a little dip, I don't, I don't pick up maybe everything. Okay. We may, we may lower it a little bit for tomorrow. Yeah. But this, this is looking great, kind of half raking it, so to say, you know, with the two different piles, and we'll merge it all together tomorrow. It's so the, what do you think? You're, you're thinking about trading this rake. Yeah. For this rake. Yes. What do you think? I, from watching it, I, I think I want to trade. I well, just. I, I thought I could do three times as much work as you're doing. Well, not, I mean, I mean not maybe even more. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's what, two feet, two and a half feet wider or better? I uh, don't know. It, it rakes a big flip. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping maybe you'd get a chance to drive it here. You want okay, to try it? Okay. Hey, trade. Um, how much would one of those be new? Uh, I think $6,400. And how about this one? Those are the model that replaced that one is right at ten thousand dollars. Okay, but this one will do the tedding as this, well. This will ted and rake. This is great for the small, you know, the small track A person that can buy one new implement to do two jobs with. Yeah. And and it does it well. I like the fact that this moves every bit of the hay to where right. you're putting hay over on top of some but we're planning on rolling that over tomorrow yeah i noticed um, some of the hay i'm not moving i'm just yeah, setting it on yeah. top of other um and there may just have to use it and see you may be able to rake one direction and put that over onto where you've raked on the past before yeah and when you're not doubling them up but i really like the watching the way that that works I any like, instruction for me on that one no, if i drive that no one? just be it's just be careful setting it down set it down kind of easy okay so it doesn't bang to the ground and you know, it's just like that. It's throwing it to the one side so you go down and back. I'll take that one and start up there and just work my way down here and we'll just kind of meet in the middle and then do that little side My only deal. instruction is this valve doesn't have any detent. Okay. So hold it down 
till it gets all the way down. Till, you know, just a good while until you make sure it's down. I got tired of bending my neck to check, but I just yeah. held it a little extra and didn't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of wanting that fan. That's really what this is all about. <laughs> now, how did you had a plan of attack here? You were trying to signal. Yeah, it's just like planting corn. You got to think about the baler, just like with planting corn. You got to think about picking it with the combine. Yeah. So everything, everything is for a reason. So uh, far, I think we've. I mean, oh, it's we've, come along good. I mean, we've what if knocked we, this. Yeah, we need ten more acres. <laughs> yeah. In front of that hurricane, I was a little nervous to cut much more. So. Oh, I think we're doing great. This will okay. be this will be fine for tomorrow, and be in good shape. Right where we got done mowing, Matt. Yeah, right where we quit mowing. We need more. This this got done too fast. You know, you know how a, a project that needs a certain length. Yeah. This can we, can we do longer? it again? We can. <laughs> Maybe We've tomorrow. We've got other fields to do. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, let's finish tomorrow. You want to? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. finish tomorrow. <laughs> so tell me about the next step. Next step, since we've kind of half raked this to let this air out and dry, uh, after the dew's off and 11 o'clock or so tomorrow, we'll go through probably with just this rake and grab two and put in a one of what we've done and then check it at about one o'clock, two o'clock and check some of the lower spots and the shaded spots and make sure it's dry and then get the balers out and start baling. Okay. Up there where I'd raked or where any anywhere this guy yeah. was raking, is that thick enough or do you need I mean no, you're gonna that's move plenty. Them. No, 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 that's plenty. Okay. That'll be that'll be plenty thick enough for whatever you're doing, yeah. So what was your thought about little Johnny on that rake? <laughs> you don't even know it's back there. The only uh, negative about this setup is the rough ride. Yes. That's the only that's thing. That's it. And it wasn't I thought it was gonna be in comparison that was a little that sheet seats a little better. Yeah. You know, but it wasn't a whole lot different. You know, but a big I, deal. I mean, I, I thought, well, you're going to feel that when it gets into the ground or something. And no, it just, it, it didn't bother it a bit. Now, so. between the two, yeah, I much prefer driving that right. Yes. I like how it, it scoops it up. Now, like I said, well, go. The only thing is it's throwing hay on top of hay that has not been turned over or moved or whatever. So, you know, if you guys have used rakes like this, uh, leave some suggestions in the comment because I suspect means. by the time... Matt has used this rake. Mm -hmm. I believe he's going to buy it. <laughs> By the time he's used this rake several times, he'll probably begin to come up with some tricks. Yeah. yeah. But you guys may already know those tricks. Yep. By all means, uh, in, if any any suggestions, I'm all for it. But I really liked it. I liked it. I. If I'm spending your money, I'm spending it on okay. that rake. Okay. All right. Now we got to save something to buy a four basket tether with too. So, um, you know, it's There's always, always something. something. Always something. <laughs> Finance committees get tired of hearing from us, I think. I think they do, but you know, that's the way it is. Hey, it's getting dark. I'm glad we put this off till evening. It was a lot more pleasant. Yeah. Your air conditioner here was working pretty yeah, well. It was. This yeah. one wasn't working no. quite as well. Mm -mm. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Next step is the second part of the raking and bailing. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim.